Thursday in the octave of Easter. Dear brothers and sisters, when you look at the post-resurrection scenes, we always notice that whenever Jesus appears, he shows his wounds. He shows his wounds to his disciples after the resurrection. He shows his wounds to Thomas, and today in the gospel, he shows them his wounds, he shows them his hands and his feet. Jesus keeps the two together, his wounds and his resurrection. He would not appear without showing his wounds. And this tells us the connection between the wounds and the resurrection, or the connection between the suffering and the resurrection. The purpose of making the connection between the wound and the resurrection is to make sense out of it, is to show the disciples and the world that the two are not divorced from each other, the two are compatible. The wound or the suffering of Jesus never make any sense without the resurrection. The wounds never make any sense if they are not connected with the resurrection. And hence Jesus always made sure that whenever he appeared, he would show his wounds. So for this reason, his suffering never make any sense without the resurrection. I think this is not only true of him, but true of us also. Our suffering have no meaning when they are not rooted in the resurrection of Christ. If our wounds are not connected to the resurrection of Christ, we suffer in vain. Today we have wounds and bruises all over emerging from our social life, emerging from our business life, emerging from our spiritual life. We constantly ask ourselves, when is this situation going to end? What will happen after the lockdown? Are we even safe after the lockdown? Wounds from social life. In terms of our business, we still ask, are we going to recover from the lost time and profits? For we have been just spending and withdrawing without earning and investing. Wounds from business life. We also ask, what is God saying about this current situation? Wounds from our spiritual life. All these questions bring suffering. They cause mental wounds. They cause emotional and spiritual wounds. We have become a wounded world. But if our suffering today is not grounded in the resurrection, if our wounds do not have connection with the resurrection, then our suffering is in vain. We suffer for nothing. How do we then make the connection between the resurrection and our wounds? How do we make sure that our suffering is grounded in the resurrection of Christ? We do this by making a self-resolve in our faith that my suffering today is not the end in itself, but a means to an end. My end is the resurrection. You have to tell yourself that my suffering today does not end in agony, but in the resurrection, for we don't believe in a death without resurrection. My dear brothers and sisters, pray to the Lord today that he may help you to witness 
the resurrection of your spiritual life, the resurrection of your business life, the resurrection of your social life. Once we are able to make the connection between our suffering and the resurrection, then you always find meaning in your suffering. We always find meaning in our suffering and we will endure our suffering knowing that the last word of restoration to be spoken will not be spoken in our suffering, but the last word of restoration will be spoken in the resurrection. For we do not believe in a death without resurrection. Have a blessed day, and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.